in this um, environment, I need to explain that piece. So I'm going to take 30 seconds. Um, there are often times we as women compromise our position. We, we know what we want. We know what we pray for. Um, but, you know, we get tired of waiting. Can anybody identify? Oh, you're gonna leave me hanging. <laughs> um, and and so oftentimes we'll put ourselves in positions where maybe we just want to be held, but that's not what you know. He wanted to go out on a date with you for. He didn't want to just hold you. <laughs> he had some things in mind for himself. And sometimes we've been in positions where we've compromised our own values and our own standards to enjoy what we really wanted. But we leave feeling raped feeling taken advantage of, and um, it may not have been an actual rape or sexual assault, but oftentimes we could do that to ourselves. Did, do you follow me? Okay, everybody looking at me weird. <laughs> so I'm just, you know, that, that piece came out of me because I can identify with that. Um, so I'm going to read one other piece really quick, and it's called Out of Bondage. And I actually read it for the first time last night, um, out loud. I cannot be contained, nor can my love. I am coming out of bondage, taking back my innocent beauty and washing my locks before sunsets and Fiji in my dreams. Practicing the strength of God's healing powers in my hands. I am without fear, standing up to every Christian, every tyrant, every person who has ever judged me for not being like them. And applauding because God clearly wanted to do something different. I am walking out of bondage like Israel. God is speaking to the deserted dry bones of blessings that I could not see. And commanding them to insurrect, be whole, restoring all of what the enemy wanted to keep. I am taking my tortured soul, handing it to the enemy, and telling him to go to hell because nothing dead lives here. I exchange myself for every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God and live. I am resurrection, weighted by the glory of God, constantly present, absent of fear, completely unhindered. God dwells here. There are grandmothers who hate my hair, old white ladies walking fearful and scared because I want to buy some juice and chocolate at the same gas station. Employers who won't hire me and social groups who still act like they are in high school with how they determine if you make the team. Yet they hate themselves at home when no one is looking. Don't worry. I'm praying you out of bondage so you can be consumed by the light. Even in darkness, <laughs> the stars shine bright. There are quiet people who think I'm too strong. And there are rude people who take my softness as an indication that I'm a punk. And keeping it real ain't keeping it if you're holding it. it I'm sorry. And keeping it real ain't, ain't real if you're keeping it, holding on to patterns of the past. How's that working for you? Our hearts have been mangled, run through lawnmowers, spit out by judgmental societies, and it started at home with your damaged parent telling you, you ain't never going to be nothing before you ever had a chance. We play mind games with our heart. Forgetting that one has thoughts and one is a muscle, but both carry memory. We try to be more than we believe because our capacity is limited by our willingness to subscribe to the newsletter updates of our challenges rather than our faith. We lose, we call on God. We win, we claim it ourselves. We want to be Christian, we want to be separate. We make our lives look like a ping pong competition and then expect for something to change. In the words of my Pastor Tony Brazelton, nothing just happens. I am taking a stand. I am freeing myself from your view of me and the contemplations that attach themselves to your beliefs. And I finally, truly believe love. I cannot be contained, nor can my God. I am coming out of bondage, taking back my innocent beauty and washing my locks before sunsets in Fiji in manifestation. Encountering the glory of God's healing powers in my hands, I am without fear standing up to every Christian, every tyrant, every person who has judged me for not being like them and applauding because God clearly wanted to do something different. I am walking out of bondage like Israel. God is speaking to the deserted dry bones of blessings that I could not see and commanding them to insurrect, behold, restoring all of what the enemy wanted to keep. I am taking my tortured soul, handing it to the enemy and telling him to go to hell because nothing dead lives here. I exchange myself for every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God and live. I 
and resurrection, weighted by the glory of God, constantly present, absent of fear, completely unhindered, God dwells here, receiving my identity, made a judgment, and hit the turning point of my crisis, having a base now abounding, looking forward to forever. My name is Resurrection. <laughs>